CGS Outdoors Deer Camp starts right now. About two hours into the trip, about 20 minutes away from the cabin. Uh, it's been pretty good ride so far. As we get up here, there's some snow on the ground, so it looks like it's a little bit on the cold side. I'm looking forward to having a nice cabin, a nice log cabin to hang out to. Thanks to the Verbo app for giving us a great place to uh, to check out. Our plan is to actually head back to the same place we ended up with last year where we ended up finding a bunch of deer that were kind of running by at the last last second. Uh, we had one solo deer that I bumped all by itself, and that was pretty cool because I think that might have been a buck. Good company, good hunting, and good coffee. That's how, that's how we roll. Good food, too. You got to have the good food. It's, that's a must right there, automatic. Oh man, this place just smells like home, guy. Holy smokes. Oh, wowzers. I am impressed. No? Naughty pine? Oh, 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 look, you, look right there. Oh, dude. Hey. I call dibs on, on this spot right here. Oh my goodness. This is insane, guy. That must be the outdoor park. Oh, look at that pond. So there's a bedroom upstairs and then there's two bedrooms downstairs, you think? Or really? Come on, dude. Tell me you broke the toilet. Every man needs a new whiskey glass, bro. Said so it's true. I got you this uh, awesome Cuffy's whiskey glass. Oh, awesome Cuffy's? What is that? That's some bird dog whiskey, my friend. I is got that black take... cherry? That is black cherry. That bird is... dog whiskey for you, brother. Thank you. Slightly mighty blue cow IPA. Yes, sir. I wouldn't have it any other way, bro. And uh, just so you know, so everybody out there knows, podcast is officially going to start. And there are sweatshirts coming for the podcast. Sweet. Cheers. I don't think these are cold enough, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Well, that's good. Good enough, right? I like that a lot. All right, here we go, Mike. I'm unloading, uh, oh, I got the Ozark Trail um, 
You know, I didn't even make a bag for lunch. Oh, that's okay. We just left it in the cabin. I mean, left it in the truck last time. Yeah, hey, hot some. dogs, baby, for whatever we want to make them. better than that. I grabbed two frozen ones out of my freezer. Oh, okay. Let me know if I didn't give you enough room. Dude, <laughs> the thing's completely empty. All right, cheese. That's for the chili or anything else. Um, broccoli cheese soup as an appetizer one night. Yeah, took care of me again, buddy. And these are coming out right here. These are homemade ribs. I got two packages of these. Sweet. I hope I have two packages of these. Yep. Here's the other package. Two packages of ribs. Babe. Oh, that's like two racks. That looks amazing. I'm gonna leave those out because we're gonna I'm be doing you those. So uh, this customer of mine, mm -hmm. been friends with friends with them for a long time. They actually make them. They smoke them themselves. It's actually the stove. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, we got some sausages right here, pre-packaged up. Sweet. These are for our pasta night, which you decided what night? Wednesday. Wednesday night pasta That's night. That's awesome, because I bought also a sausage for Wednesday night. Hey, I got some chicken, um, hot dogs. We can add those with beans or whatever. That's okay. funny, because I brought the same thing. Did you? And uh, we, we shop at the same store. Uh, Costco, so we're going to get that. No, I didn't, uh, I went to Big Y. Hey, real butter, I know that Irish stuff, uh, the Irish stuff's in the door, too. I know. The Irish stuff's gonna hey. be mad and start beating you up. What do you got there? What do you got? You ready? Oil. Ooh, don't be, don't rush it. Chill, chill. Oh, I see it. Mac nice. and cheese. That's also courtesy of Tanaka and Roseanne. Tanaka? Yeah. It's a cool name. It's a real cool name. The guy can cook like there's nobody's business. That's gonna go up over there. Hey, what night the we doing the kielbasa? Grape jelly, chili sauce, kielbasa. That's the Pat Burke recipe right there. Yeah, it is. Don't tell him. We chili, know. chili. Nice. I know it looks disgusting, but you know how I like to use them food saver bags. Oh, it looks hey. like cheese on it. Pogey bait? What do we always have? Pogey bait? Put it next to my pogey bait. Where's your pogey bait? It's in the drawer. I'll, I'll put it on top of the drawer. Hey. Cheese, pokey bait, pepper jack, pepper jack, baby. Dude, we get we, we we shop together. We do. Ninety percent of the same stuff you got. Here's the cheese for the uh, pasta night. It's gonna be. I got the, I got the shredded stuff. So wait, 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 wait. The powdered stuff. This, do, this is wood chips. This <laughs> is Italian. You can make fun of me with the black olives being the Italian guy, but got it right here. I'll just throw it on top of your stuff. And you ready? Yeah, let me see. What's the Italian guy I always bring? Oh, uh, chorizo? The super sod, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, cholesterol is gonna skyrocket. That's all right. Hey, that's it. Especially because you don't want to be going up any mountains this year. I don't. And listen, I don't and why. I bought a special treat. It's right in here. I'm gonna bring this out slowly, and then I'm gonna reveal. Ooh. That is the blueberry moonshine. Last year I went with the cranberry. This year I'm going with the blueberry. Good choice. And uh, it is, you see the blueberries in there? Do you see those in there? They look Do you see the blueberries in there? I am going to need to set this timer. 20 minutes? Uh, 30, I do believe. 30 minutes on the, on the stuff. On the mac and cheese. On the mac and cheese. I'll pull the thing off another, I think it's like 15 or 20. And okay. then we put the ribs. Um, with some water in a pan, and we just hoopy it up. Save the neck for me, Clark. Hey, don't don't be afraid. Six four, two fifteen. Don't be afraid. Cheers. Here's to Bird Dog Whiskey. Twenty twenty one. And my bro Chacho. Does it say twenty twenty one? No. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, get it down. How is it? That's good. Oh, I like that a lot. That's dangerous. Oh. Is it supposed to taste like a donkey fart after you yes. burp it up a little bit? <laughs> Nailed it. Actually, that, that blackberry is nice. It is. Mm. <laughs> First round appetizer, mac and cheese. Oh, right, cheers. Uh, cheers. Please. Cheers, buddy. This is excellent. Honestly, this is what deer camp is all about for me. Eating, hanging out. There's going to be a lot of eating. Uh, there's going to be definitely a lot of eating. Oh, you. 
Oh, hey, this is the this is the spot right here. See, my dad used to do the same thing doing the dishes. <laughs> you sit you down. Up, you pull up a big big uh, yeah a bar stool chair. Yeah. And he would do the half sit. Oh. 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 Make sure, they're heated all the way through because. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> I feel like Fred Flintstone. Can I get the dino ribs, man? Dino ribs. Dino mine. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go to the. So we go back down to where we were, and then we hit um, our old stomping ground. You can see where we're actually moving from real dark pine. And there's a couple of scrapes in that area. And as we pan around, the pines kind of end and it gets really light. Two piles of moose shit. Is that Sasquatch? Got some more deer poop in here. Not that fresh, but it is a random spot. We decided to take a sit on a uh a rock wall the professor is right behind well right in front of me actually and uh it's uh it's the wind picked up so it's a little bit windy i apparently we're in a flight path because all i hear is jets flying over every 10 minutes or so this area we are hunting today has been changing from hardwoods to pine to i don't know what you call it man like sasquatch country and we in the middle of Day one, Monday. Dude, you're trying to sneak up on me? Uh, that was pretty loud to be sneaking. You want to start heading that way? I don't know. I kind of like it here. I do like it here. I think we stay, stay put for a little bit. Yeah, maybe move to the next ridge, take a look over. Yeah, that way. Yeah, there's a nice little spot right over there. There better be a place to sit down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hemorrhoids are killing. <laughs> well, uh, sitting on this rock wall ain't helping them. <laughs> it's, hard, it's hard to uh, have a bad day in the woods, though. Wearing my favorite clothes, hanging out with my favorite person, being in my favorite spot. Wait, your wife? That. Wait, your wife's here? Yeah, she's <laughs> You didn't hear us? Back to the truck for some lunch. Bro, Chacho's coming in right behind me. Uh, that was some thick stuff in there. But good. Thick, but good. It was nice. This stuff's all dirty from being on the tailgate. Gonna recoup, have some lunch, and uh, head on back out. Yeah, I see the shirt's off. It's all tied around you. Yeah. What happened? Sweating in there, didn't you? I think it went too far in the orange trail. Um, so I took the orange trail out right to in front of us. Yeah, I took it all the way that way. And then, and came, then back. came back and then came back. So I, I came out right in front of us, right right around that beaver pond. I came Sweet. out. Good job for you. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Thank, thanks for uh, going with me. Hey, I... Thanks for keeping together while in the woods. Hey, stop it. You have a GPS and a radio. Mine was off. I'm going to switch batteries and get the other one. Just go tch, 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 every 10 seconds. You got GPS and radio? By the way, mine was off. <laughs> yeah, but by the way, mine was off. You will see the professor and I walking around the woods with these two lanyards they got grunt calls he's got a grunt call grunt and wheeze on his and the first time we ever hunted together we shot a buck and i made the lanyards out of paracord and i actually put a piece of the horn that broke off and we threw it in the truck on each one of our lanyards and there's five of these made actually and everyone has a piece of that horn so we all like stick together if you do get lost, like I don't get lost in the woods at all. No, but if you do get lost, let's, let's show them the secret. What was it? See that? 
So it's just a cobra stitch with paracord. Actually, yours is the opposite of mine, correct? It is, yep. Yeah, he did the orange with the green. I did the green with the orange. Well, you did them both. Well, I did do them both, but you picked the colors. Yep. But we have the, the matching horns. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You make fun of my 90 calorie lunch, but what are those? Small batch, hand, hand, made by hand, snacking granola. Those are gluten free, man? I didn't know it's gluten free. What? If it's gluten free, that's my accent. Have you seen my tripod? No. <laughs> are you sure? Have you seen it? <laughs> there it is. Got a new spot after lunch and it's starting to drizzle a little bit. Um, you can see I'm up on a rock. I'm up pretty high. I can see some of this stuff. I can see behind us right here. Um, I can see inside the, the trees a little bit. There is a major deer trail right here and there's a uh, there's a tree stand right behind me. This is the same spot last year that at the end of our trip last year, we ended up having some pretty good success in this area. So we decided to start off here. We got here this morning, there was a bunch of cars. And so we decided to go try to sneak around uh, to the like to the north of where this was and try to push in a little bit, but it was, it was too nasty. It was too mountainous, too much water, and only two piles of deer scat in that area that was the only thing we saw is two random piles not on a trail just in the middle of you know rocks or something it's just weird <laughs> dude that's a that's a weird place to look for deer man <laughs> what happens when you're not legit <laughs> So, show everybody what we got going on right now. <laughs> Prime time hunting, <laughs> and where are we? We're at a staple store because you had to print out your license. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're sitting on the side of the road coming out because it's raining, and what do we hear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much a game warden's like slamming his brakes on, flips around, it's like, Hey, what's going on, guys? You hunting? Like, yeah, we're wearing orange. You can't rifles out of the woods. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, you, uh, you gotta have that printed out, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm signing all these. Uh, are you? No, just just sign one. Can you sign all of them? Yeah. Is that my pen? No. Where'd you get that pen from? Uh, my truck, and I brought it in no, here. No, 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 no. That came from over here, buddy. No, dude, you got a purple pen. I know. That thing's awesome. Yeah, I already plugged it in. Well, can I see it on your Wazi? Yeah, you get out of here. First you step at Chipotle. I'm not going, you just said there's only two people working and one person's always eating chicken. <laughs> Dude, that's the truth. <laughs> there's never corn. Like who eats the corn on Chipotle, man? That's gross. All right, ready? We're in a Staples parking lot with camouflage and orange on. Dude, you should have seen <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it looks. like that in there? Oh no. First, first I wasn't wearing my mask. Okay, that's, that's legit, that's, that's big But time. I'm vaccinated, so. Here's to you getting busted by the game warden. Cheers. And us making a try at the staples. Blueberry moonshine, here we go. Day two, well. Dos amigos. Yeah, daylight just started. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna be meeting the owner sometime this week of the cabin we verboed. And he gave us uh, a nice little tip too, didn't he? Yes, he did. If our site doesn't work out we got another site to go to we got another site. logging truck eh? you can another spot just up the road up the rizzo well yesterday we had no luck we had no deer no not we only had two three signs three signs one is said deer crossing the game warden who told you you need to print out your license oh i got it all right and because he's coming back today because <laughs> you invited him back yeah <laughs> i did invite him back <laughs> Uh, bring the camera crew. We're gonna get on the <laughs> get on Northwoods Law, man. It'll be fun. Good morning, sir. Yeah, how you guys doing? And we have some snow in the woods. It's all cornflakes crusty this morning, so 
good day to sit on yeah. some frozen logs. <laughs> I should have worn an extra pair of pants today because it is 29 degrees. But it's supposed to warm up to 40. They say that, but in the woods it's a different 40, you know? A lot of time, yesterday my stuff was soaked in a matter of minutes when we just got a little bit of rain. Do you want to go sit in that tree stand? How windy is it though? A couple, of calls, maybe. A couple of duck calls maybe because ain't nothing really going on right now. New spot. <clears throat> we lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're not lost. We just haven't found anything. No sign or nothing. Nothing. <clears throat> windy today though. So no sign. Windy. Um, crunchy. Wind, crunchy. Well, it was crunchy for a while. Now we got into some thick stuff here and it's not crunchy. I'm taking a breather. I'm done walking. You're going to have to piggyback me out of here. <laughs> now that hurts. I just want you to just piggyback. <laughs> Carry me like a baby. We've been in the woods too long today, I'm telling you. you started. No, we didn't just start. Yeah, did. My back already hurts. <laughs> you should feel a lot lighter. I should feel a lot lighter. Plus oh. you're down a couple layers too. So. What do you mean? I'm just down a pair of pants. I, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> You can't see them, anyway. <laughs> you can't see them but I'm, I'm not wearing pants. I just have on uh, socks and uh, boxer briefs and uh, boots. <laughs> That's the first time. <laughs> it's the way I'm rolling today. Get in touch with nature. We've been in the woods for a couple hours now. Yeah, we've been a few hours. Three hours. Yeah, three. And we've been walking the entire time. But finally, as we're walking, we hit something over here that moved we don't know what it was something big a couple of stumbles or whatever could be bigfoot could be a moose i hope it's not a bear i don't have a tag no you can have a tag you just can't shoot them here oh okay harris center is um fur bears are off limits so anything other than deer off limits I say we move that way, although you got to go through all that thick crap right there and I really don't want to go. Oh, that's where I was going to go. <laughs> okay, just let me just clear just let, let me, me point it out. The truck is out. Okay, let me just clear out what we got. We have a, a glacier rock here, fallen pine tree, a glacier rock the size of my house here, another tree fall, a glacier rock, glacier rock water and then birch trees down that's just how it goes today i don't know we just came across but it looks like there's some blood on there pick it up buddy check it out that's definitely blood yeah that's a big drop dude look right there Well, there's tracks right here. There's some blood here, too. Well, we heard something over here moving. There's a fresh broken branch. Right there. And then the blood starts. Yeah, there's fresh tracks from here. Could be a doe in heat too. You know what I mean? She's dripping. You got more? I 
What are you looking? Oh shit! Yeah. But it kind of just stops, which is weird. It doesn't go like to the road. So something was moving in here. So if there's a doe in here, there's a doe in here. There's a doe in here. Well, you hope. So we were not wrong about a few things. We heard something step and trip, and we're finding blood like a doe in heat. And we're just gonna follow her and see where she's going, see if we can just track her blood. It's gonna take us a little while, it's gonna be slow. But if we can find out where she's going, we can find out that there's bucks gonna be coming through too. If she's bleeding like she's in heat, then we have a chance. You got more over here? There's our first rub following that doe that's been dripping. That could be his track right there, and that's a pretty big indention. The professor and I are sitting on the, the rub. He was behind me, I don't know. Maybe he moved somewhere. He's around here somewhere. Made a couple of grunt calls. And we'll sit and wait. <clears throat> For a little while. So we're heading back in. We're taking a. We're gonna go right back to where we were this morning until we had lunch. <laughs> and we texted our good friend Bill Glick. He told us to go find this grape line, which we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. We're taking the cheater system though. We have um, this blue trail right here. This leads us right into an orange trail, and the orange trail leads us right around uh, to where we were yesterday. So let's get in there and get after it. What do you think? Dude, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. That's legit, bro. Don't even worry about it. I'd rather just skip over the rocks. I was up on these rocks up here last year. I'm like looking at this whole bowl. <laughs> the only thing I would have seen was like people in yoga pants. <laughs> I didn't realize it was the trail I was watching. <laughs> You're trying to walk your dog and there's there's me like on top of the rock looking at you with my 30 yacht. <laughs> Wait, what's that? B bar barreling down and plays orange, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on over there? We found two rubs in this thick area. And we found a bunch of trails <clears throat> all throughout here. It's like freezing rain and <clears throat> Hail or small snow every day at this time it just seems to be coming down. So we did get a little bit lost, but what did you say happened? I think you are I think you were spot on, but I don't think you did anything wrong. I just think your GPS was backwards. That's all I think. That I'm was. trying to figure out what happened with our wood, you know, because we came down the trail. The trail was going left the whole time. Right. And no then, left. <laughs> right. No left. <laughs> And then we took a right into the area that we're hunting, right? Yep. So then we're coming back. This is like, this is like calculus for me. I have no idea. Because then we're coming back the opposite way. It was and then we crazy. had to take a left to go back to the trail, which doesn't make sense to me. Oh, what is tonight, my friend? Steak night. Steak night. Oh, that's looking good. Look at the size of that thing. So, 
great dinner tonight. It was awesome. We have to put another shrimp on the barbie though. I think it's going. Let me turn around. I think the shrimp. Oh. <laughs> no. A little low. No, that thing's ripping. So tomorrow we're back to that same spot. Yes. Here's how to cook. Great job on the steak. Thank you. Great job on this place too. Every year it gets better, right? I think it, this this steak was the old '96er from the Great Outdoors. Yeah. I'm done. Come on, man. You, you left all the you left all the good stuff there. Yeah, I did. That's just a fat gristle. <laughs> No t-shirt for me. Mm -mm. Yeah, let's go back. I love that spot. It's so quiet in there. It's got a water barrier. It's got tracks all over the place. It's got some good sign in there. There was the doe was leading us down in there. Thanks to you, we, we found the doe blood.